Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, for the fourth night, um, starting with what's called Part 3. Um, I think there might be four parts to the game total, so I think these are definitely a bit shorter than the last one, which took me quite a while to complete, get those four map pieces, so here we go. Part 3, LeChuck's Forest. In the small crate of voodoo supplies that would be his home for the next five days and nights, <laughs> Guybrush is forced to eat bat lungs and eel bladders to stay alive. Doesn't sound very pleasant. Eventually, Guybrush and the rest of the slithering cargo are delivered to the very doorstep of the Caribbean's most fearsome villain, living or dead, the ghost pirate, LeChuck. <laughs> ah, LeChuck's crate of voodoo supplies. You know, we usually don't deliver out this far, and... You guys bucking for a tip? <laughs> well, we figured since... Well, you figured wrong. <laughs> LeChuck don't tip nobody. Gee, what a butt. <laughs> Seriously, LeChuck, what's yeah. your problem? I hate snakes. <laughs> One thing that Indy and Guybrush have in common. Hello to my viewers. Hello, uh, what wizard? Nice to have you with us on the stream, as always, and welcome to Odd Socks. All right, so what are we doing here? Great. Lots of signs. Methinks I've encountered a maze. Nice. Nice. They don't say anything useful? Nice. Nice. None of them? Nice. N none of these signs say anything. Nice. Nice. I like how this sign is trademarked, but none of the other ones are. It's pretty good. Nice. Okay. Um. All right, um... So I think this probably has some connection to um, the dream that I had. My parents. Where they sang that song about the leg bones and the whatever bones, hip bones, butt bones. Uh, head bones connected to the rib bone. Rib bone connected to the leg bone. Leg bone connected to the hip bone. Okay. Head bone, rib bone. So, head bone, rib bone. It's some kind of strange skeleton statue. Okay, he's not going to describe it for me. But yeah, head bone, rib bone. Head bone, rib bone, rib bone, leg bone. Okay. Um. Head bone, rib bone, leg bone. Well, those look like feet to me, not legs.
But maybe there's supposed to be legs. Is there a foot bone in this song? Hip bone, arm bone, head bone, rib bone, leg bone, leg bone, hip, arm, leg. So maybe there aren't foot bones. So maybe these bottom bones here are supposed to be leg bones. So head bone, rib bone, leg bone. So I think that's the right one, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, and then what's the next one? Hip bone, arm bone, arm bone, head bone. Hip bone, arm bone, arm bone, head bone. Well, that's that one here, but I can't imagine that you're just supposed to go through the same thing. What is it again? Hip bone, arm bone, head bone. Hip, arm, head. Okay. That's rib, arm, head. That's rib, leg, hip. That's foot, head, rib. Um, is that it? Foot, what was it again? Was it, oh no, I don't think leg was in there. Hip, arm, head. Yeah, hip's not in there. Um, have I failed already? Hip, arm, head. Well, that's the right one, but I think it's the one I came through, isn't it? All right, so what's the next one? Um, so rib bones connected to the leg bone. So rib, leg, hip. Man, they really are just taunting me here, because this is, this is that one. Well, maybe you do just keep going through. Okay. So then what's the last one? Arm, head, rib. Arm, head, rib. Can't be this easy, can it? Oh, guess it was. All right. Um... Is it unlocked? <laughs> Not the most secure. Uh, Voodoo key to jail. I guess that'll come in handy. Probably. Oops. Guy brush three wood. You have finally been caught. Oh no. I have searched every island. Sailed every sea. And now you are mine. What do you have to say for yourself? Um That doesn't sound yes, good. <laughs> you be in a heap of trouble, Guybrush Threepwood. Now that you are mine, you will pay for what you did to me. Hey, what's a little root beer between friends? <laughs> Silence! There is only one thing more painful than being resurrected from the dead and... Crap! 
turned into a rotting body. Do you know what that is? Hmm. It is what is about to happen to you. Can't we talk this thing out? You see that candle over there? When it burns through that rope, the bag will fall on the bellows. When it is compressed, it will shoot a single lead bullet, which will ricochet off that pan, <laughs> off the shield behind me, bounce off that other shield, <laughs> finally striking the green balloon. When it pops, it will cause that lever to fall, releasing that ratchet on the chain, <laughs> and sending you down into the pit of acid. Nice. I will take your bones, still alive and in great pain, and make them into a chair. I will call it my screaming chair. That's not very nice. Every morning I will sit in it and listen to you scream. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Chuck's a sadistic bastard, isn't he? <laughs> Have you ever tried conditioner on that beard? I like that question. If this is four and this is two, what's this? <laughs> um. If this is four and this is two, what's this? One. <laughs> Why do adventure games cost so much? <laughs> Scanned VGA art is very expensive. <laughs> Who in the World Series in 56? I'm growing tired of it. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> he didn't say well, what he was going to do to me. Uh, an ottoman comes to mind. <laughs> Alright, I need to... I'm guessing mess with his mechanisms. Uh, so we have a punching bag, a candle, bellows, wheel of death, shield. Okay, um, I'm guessing I don't have access to anything in my inventory. I can't, apparently can't use my rope, or my um, knife on the rope. What else do I have? Um... I can't do that from my present position. Okay. So. Can I spit? Um. This stuff makes my spit thick. Okay. Um. <laughs> I really like all the. Uh, in case you're curious, the verbs now are spit, loogie, looch, gob, squirt, hawk, emit, gleek, spurt. Um. I'm assuming, and it's I, they're all synonymous, <laughs> which is pretty great. Okay. Um. So what now? What now? What do I? What should I spit on? Um, bellows. What was the first thing he talked about? Shield. Wheel. Pan. Uh, I think the pan was first. Hey! <laughs> oh man, that's the best part of all this. Um, I'll go ahead and loogie. The shield, I guess. <laughs> oh, nice. I just put the lights out. Relight the candle. 
<laughs> How I got out of those uh, constraints. Chuck is really cheesed off now. Yep. Hey, Wally. Yeah. Where are we? Good question. All right, I need a light source of some kind. Um, half bottle of near grog. Maybe I could ignite it somehow. Do I have any flames? It's in this juju bag. There's some stuff in here. I think that these are matches. Oh, good. And this thing feels like a bomb. Jeez. Uh, well, I'm gonna start with. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! Oops. <laughs> Well, uh, good thing I survived that, I guess. Part 4, Dinky Island. Hours later. <laughs> okay, I like that he's apparently careening through the air for hours. That's pretty great. Hey, there's that parrot. Maybe it's the same parrot. Probably not. That, that's not, that seems pretty unlikely. Okay, let's go over it again. So no one forget where we buried the treasure. Treasure. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Oh, we want the treasure. Uh, hold on, Polly. Okay, there's a martini glass. And tear it into four pieces. It's a moonshine still. Oh no, no, that's not right. Can I I want my granddaughter to marry a real man, a captain. Use my like you <laughs> my half bottle. Alright, so apparently I can't use that on anything. Oh, can I Okay, let's go over it again. So no one forget where that doesn't seem to work. Okay, you're not gonna let me put them. Uh how about just plain old ocean water? Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Okay, let's go over it again. So no one forget where we bury the treasure. That seems to have gotten most of the salt out of it. Alright. I have a glass of distilled water. Let's go over it again. So no one forget where we bury the treasure. Crates. Can I open these crates? Oh hey, there's a Herman Toothrot. Hey, there's a cracker in here. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. I don't talk to Herman Toothrot. <laughs> oh, hi. I've been waiting for you. What do you mean you've been waiting for me? Our meeting comes at this, the final moment of my existence so far. All else has been in anticipation of this event. Do you always say things like that? Nothing I say is ever the same, yet it is all said the same way. <laughs> Do you mean to tell me that your whole life has been merely a prelude to meeting me here today? <laughs> Yours too. But see, already the moment passes. Now our meeting is nothing more than another note in the grand overture to the next passage. <laughs> what are you doing here? Teaching philosophy here. <laughs> right here? On the beach? Sure beats a Tibetan mountaintop. I can go surfing when things are slow. <laughs> what sort of philosophy are you teaching? Neo-existentialist Cartesian Zen Taoism. 
It's all the rage at cocktail parties this year. Nice. How many students have you got? Well, <laughs> none at the moment. But as soon as word gets out that a guru such as myself is teaching at a beautiful locale like this, I'll have to beat them off with a stick. <laughs> Could you teach me some philosophy? <laughs> okay, here's a Zen koan for you. <laughs> what? A philosophical puzzle. All right, let's hear it. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, what color is the tree? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say forest green. Forest green? Nope. Brown? Nope. <laughs> Blue? Nah. Red? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Cyan? Nah. <laughs> Lavender? Nah. <laughs> Magenta? Not even close. <laughs> Puce? Nope. Aquamarine? How many colors are they gonna give me? Taupe? <laughs> Not even close. Burnt sienna? <laughs> nope. Raw umber? <laughs> nope. Sepia? <laughs> nope. Mulberry? Nope. <laughs> Periwinkle? Nope. Orchid? <laughs> nah. Turquoise? Not exactly. Peach? Nah. Plum? <laughs> nah. Aubergine? Not exactly. Mustard? Not even close. <laughs> Cabernet? Nah. <laughs> Slate? Nope. <laughs> Smoke? Nope. <laughs> Brick? Not exactly. Coral? Not even close. Chartreuse? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Cherry? Not exactly. Wisteria? Nope. <laughs> Raspberry? Not even close. <laughs> Vanilla? Nope. <laughs> Asparagus? Not exactly. Cranberry? Not exactly. <laughs> Sangria? Nope. <laughs> Eggshell? Nah. <laughs> Driftwood? Not even close. <laughs> Zumac? Nope. Alpaca? <laughs> nope. Storm Gray? Nope. Evening Haze? Not exactly. Tarragon? Not exactly. <laughs> Sachet? So I am getting closer. Nah. Venetian? <laughs> nah. Juniper? Nope. <laughs> Drizzle? Not exactly. <laughs> Sweet potato? Not even close. <laughs> Bayou? Nope. <laughs> Manila? Nope. <laughs> Macintosh red? Not exactly. Shark bite? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Sashimi green? I'm not even convinced all of these are real colors. Ebony? Nope. <laughs> Ivory? <laughs> nope. Menthol? Not exactly. <laughs> Salmon? <laughs> nope. Oxblood? 
blood? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Khaki? <laughs> no. Fuchsia? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Robin's egg? <laughs> nope. Ash? Not even close. <laughs> Spice? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Copper? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Weathered pewter? <laughs> <laughs> what wizard says i'm not sure you're getting any closer please stop um but there's so many good ones <laughs> fine i'll i'll give me give me give me five more cerulean nope phthalo cyanide green nope ochre Deep purple? <laughs> nah. Alright, last one. Russet? <laughs> nope. I give up. <laughs> Think about it some more and come back when you have an answer. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty good. All right, I have a feeling that, um, oh, I guess jungle. Alright, we have some kind of a bag here. I can't reach it. What? Guybrush! I can't reach Are it. Are you kidding me? That thing's like maybe six inches over your head. You can totally reach that. I can't reach it. Ah, <sighs> alright. Can you climb a tree? That doesn't seem to work. Can I use my crowbar with it? I don't think I ought to do that. Okay, so we did at least try to use the bottle, which makes me... That doesn't seem to work. What wizard says Guybrush? The laziest fan. Yep, pretty much. Alright, I have a broken bottle. Uh, I have a box of crackers, I guess. <laughs> That's cool. I'm not sure why there was a bag with crackers in it hanging from this tree. It's instant low sodium cracker mix. Just add water. Ah, well I do have some water. All right, I have one, two, three crackers. Can I make more crackers? Oh, I have to get more water to make more crackers. All right, well, I guess I can give those to the parrot some, at some point. Um, there's a box and a rope. Can I pick up the rope? All right, I have a rope. Can I open the box? It's nailed shut. Great. Uh, oh, I have a crowbar. Hey, dynamite! Just like it says on the side. <laughs> All right. Um, take the dynamite. Thank you very much. 
cool. Uh, what else? What else is in this jungle? What's in this jungle? More jungle. That was nice of them to put call box here. I guess that was the hint line for LucasArts at the time. Remember kids, if you're under 18, ask your parents before calling. Lucasfilm Games, hint line. Chester speaking. <laughs> I'm lost in the Dinky Island jungle in Monkey 2. Look, there are only two ways out of the room you're in. Figure it out, Knucklehead. <laughs> when is Swallow gonna ship? It's been out for some time now. Where have you been? Playing some frustrating graphic adventure? Swaddle? Who thought up that dumb stump joke? <laughs> I'm tired of hearing about that damn stump. Do you have any idea how many calls I get a day about that? <laughs> not sure what the stump jump. Again. I'm not sure what the stump joke was. Where do babies come from? <laughs> what are you, a pervert? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why do adventure games cost so much? Hey, I just work here. What is the secret of Monkey Island? I'm fed up with stupid questions like that. It's a surprise, okay? <laughs> How much money have I spent talking to you? 75 cents a minute. You can ask your computer to work out the math for you. <laughs> Thank you. You've been very helpful. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, LucasArts, you know how to sell your hint line. Due east to the pond with a dinosaur. So I'm guessing this is east. This is a pond, I don't see a dinosaur. Um, oh, hey, here's a dinosaur. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Oh, no, no, pretty Polly. And do we from the pond to the dinosaur? Brr. Okay. I want my granddaughter to marry a real man, a captain, not a washout like you. All right, north. Um, here's a dolphin. Don't see a pile of rocks yet. There you go. We're next, Polly. I only have one more cracker, so this better be good. Nice. Um, I do have a shovel, I believe, that I got from the sign for Wood Tick at the very beginning of the game. I 
I've hit cement. Um. Great. There's a layer of cement at the bottom. So can I get through that? It's a good shovel, but I can't dig through cement with it. Um. Oh, I do have dynamite. I don't think it'll do much good unless I light it first. Right. Uh, so where's my... I think I still have some matches, right? Somewhere. Dynamite, crowbar, martini, rope. Matches. That's the last match. <laughs> Use lit dynamite. <laughs> that came from the direction of Dinky Island. That idiot must be messing with my grandfather's treasure. <laughs> oh, I'd better get over there. Um, that must be the treasure of Big Whoop. All right, so how do I get to it? I don't think it'll catch on there. There, I think that'll hold. All right, so I have the rope tied to a crowbar to the crowbar. Can I do this now? Nice. Oops. Um, great. <laughs> Alright, so this is where the game began. So, and Media Res has reached Media. Three days. Anything to shut you up. That has to have been the longest story I ever heard. <laughs> Oops. Oh dear. <laughs> um Oh boy, LucasArts still fond of their dark rooms. Okay, but here's a light switch, so easy enough. Where was it? Oh, right here. Ooh. Oops. <laughs> Hello, guide brush. <laughs> Would you mind not spitting so much when you talk? You won't escape me this time. I escaped from you before. I can easily do it again. Not so fast. Even if you were to escape, I would always be able to find you again. We are bound to one another. <laughs> like soup and salad? Not really. More like... Brothers. Huh? I am your brother. No. No. <laughs> That's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No! <laughs> Surprise for you. Uh, I don't suppose it's a LucasArts game. <laughs> no. A dolly? A surprise is a dolly? A <laughs> surprise is a voodoo dolly, which I'll be using to torture you, and then send you screaming to another dimension, one of infinite pain. Observe. Ah! Are you quite finished? <laughs> no, I want 
to do this. That was exhilarating. Let's have some more fun, shall we? Ah, please! <laughs> no more! Okay, time to send you screaming to a dimension of infinite pain. I'm rid of that pesky little wimp guy brush. <laughs> yeah. ah, hey, I'm alive. Hey? <laughs> I thought I was a goner. Oops. Strange. There must be something wrong with my voodoo doll. It was supposed to send you to another dimension, not the next room. Huh, <laughs> shoddy materials, I'll bet. Well, I guess I'll just try it again. Uh, no. That's okay. I... Alright, um... Lost parents. Oh! Oh, um... So... See. Great recipes from the International House of Mojo. Page 139. Aunt Helen's special voodoo doll. <laughs> yeah, so I need to make a voodoo doll of the thread. Something of the head. head. Something of the body. And something of the dead. Okay, so this is the thing of the dead, obviously. The the lost parents thing. These are my parents. Hmm. This looks loose. I've disturbed them enough. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see, is there anything I can get from here? Nice trash can. I don't want a trash can. Okay. Um, anything on the examining table? Boy, that looked comfy. Oh, there's medical drawer. Uh oh. Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time. Well, there's a syringe in here. Nice. All right, I'll have to make my way back here, get the syringe, because clearly that's what I need to use to uh, torture LeChuck once I find him again, or once I have all my, uh, whatchamacallum. Once I've, once I've built his um, voodoo doll, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, hey. hey okay, um, it's stuck. Can I use the crowbar? Oh, I probably don't have that anymore. New. No. Can I use a shovel? I can't dig that, Daddy. Can I pick up the helium tank? It's too heavy for me to lift. Um. Can I open these crates? It's nailed shut. I can't reach that high. All right. Um. Oh, great. Uh, uh, hold on. Um, okay. 
Well, I need to keep finding things to use for LaChuck's voodoo doll. I need something of the thread. Something I have something of the dead. Something of the thread. Something of the head. I'll just take one. Alright. Generic voodoo doll. What's in here? Root beer. I better not. Okay. I was trying to use the hypodermic needle with the root beer. Hey, there's only one balloon in here. Uh, I can use it. I can pick up, uh, or I can use it to with the helium and make a helium balloon. Not sure what that'll do, but that doesn't seem to work. More root beer. One bottle of root beer should be sufficient. All right. Um, dolls. Do I need any more dolls? I don't want any more voodoo dolls. Okay. Now you're gonna get it. <laughs> uh, you sure you wanna do this? It's empty. Okay. There's stuff in it. Oh, there's stuff in the trash can. It's a pair of surgical gloves. Uh, I'll take that, I guess. Cool. I have some surgical gloves, I guess. Not sure what that'll do for me, but. Okay. Been in here. Need to find the. The, uh, this room. Alright, so I'm going to use my balloon with this. Oh, can I also blow up these surgical gloves? For whatever good that'll do me. Coin return. Wow, a forty three Sealy. Okay, nice. I can take some of his underwear, something of the thread. <laughs> the ticket. It says E on it. Nice. What do I want with a bunch of bits of broken treasure chest? Was that so this ticket, this entrance ticket was the uh was the treasure? Alright. Um okay I have something of a thread. So how can I get I need to get some of his bodily fluids. So how can I do that? I could give him the drink, maybe, while he spit, like... Or maybe I can give him this hanky. I'll wait for him to appear to give that a shot.
gonna get it. Uh, here, try this. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right. Now, isn't that better? So now I need to. I need part of his beard. Um. I think the beard's the only thing I need. Okay, clearly I'm going to have to do something with this elevator, so I might as well go check that out. So, is it use call button? Now you're going to get it. Are uh, you sure you want to do this? Ow. Oh, nice. Hey. Ow. Cool. I have some crispy beard bits. Okay, so what does this crate say? Nine hundred pounds. It looks very big and heavy. <laughs> okay, so how do I put all this together? Um, does the thing even say anything about that? Something of the thread. Have that. Something of the head. Got that. Something of the body. Um, do I have that? Something of the dead. Something of the body. You have something of the body. Oh yeah, I have the spit or the snot. Okay. So it doesn't tell me how to put it together. Um, I have a juju bag. Do I just throw it all in there? Now I need a few voodoo ingredients. Okay, I got it. I got it. Um. Well, that's one ingredient and the doll. That's two ingredients and the doll. That's three ingredients and the doll. And where's that? Here it is. Cross. Uh, here. All right. Hey, brother, watch out, because I've got my own doll now. It's positively pulsing with voodoo energy. All right, so I have the syringe and the doll right next to each other. Um, I might as well look and see what's out here. This is hauntingly familiar. Oh, this is a this is a room from uh, Monkey Island One. Circus. <laughs> that would be unlawful. <laughs> Alright, I can't walk out of here apparently. Alright. Good guy, Rush, but not good enough to stop me. Hey, oh, it's you. What, that again? Oh, look at me quaking in me booties. I laugh at you and your puny voodoo tinkerings. Nah, what are you gonna do now? Take that, Machuck. Is that the best you can do? I can take it. Take this, LeChuck. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? You don't scare me. What are you gonna do now? You know, this doll reminds me of the stretchy muscle man I had as a kid. Ha! Ah. You always were a wimp. I'm not afraid of your doll. I wonder what would happen if I tore the leg off this thing. 
<laughs> Gross. No, LeChuck! Brother! <laughs> Guybrush! <laughs> what? Come over here! <laughs> no way! I'm not that stupid. But I want you to... <clears throat> Take my mask off! What? <laughs> See the true face of your brother! Leg or no leg, I trust you about as far as I can throw Manhattan. I tell you, I'm dying here. <laughs> Take the mask off. No chance. It just ripped my lungs out when I get close. <laughs> no, no, I promise. Please, come take off the... The, the mask. Oh, all right. I'm coming over. Gently now. Remove my... Mask. <laughs> God, you're my creepy brother Chucky. What? Did you think I was kidding before? <laughs> Why have you been chasing me all over the place? Our mother told me to hunt you down. When our mother told you to hunt me down, did she actually mention killing me or was that your idea? <sighs> Look, Guybrush, could you help me out? Stick the leg back on the doll, okay? <laughs> Will you promise not to hold me down and spit on me anymore? All right, all right, I promise. <laughs> Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids! You're not supposed to be in here. Ah, so there you are. What is this place? Well, it's not the screaming Weenie Hut where we told you to meet us. <laughs> your mother and I were very concerned. Thank you for hunting down your brother like we asked, Chucky dear. <laughs> you boys didn't get in any trouble now, did you? No, no sir. sir. <laughs> Good. I wish you wouldn't run off like that, young man. We were worried sick. We don't know what kinds of murderers and ne'er-do-wells might be hanging around a place like this. <laughs> I'm Guybrush Streetwood. I'm a mighty pirate. I don't have to worry about stuff like that. <laughs> of course, dear. But please, be careful. Well, come on, then. Let's go ride the madly rotating buccaneer. <laughs> Big Whoop Amusement Park. And so concludes Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge. So, I know that ending is rather divisive. Um, some people like it quite a lot, think it's very charming. Some people hate it, think it's um, kind of similar to the it was all a dream twist that we all loathe so much. If you take it on it at face value, it's not super congruous with the other games in the series, since... Um, the series does continue without any real reference to um, this notion that Guybrush and LeChuck are actually just kids in an amusement park playing around. On the other hand, you do see um, Chucky's eyes bugging out at the end there, so it might make you think 
that this is all just a hex uh, that Lechuk has put on Guybrush, and and this is in fact an alternative reality as opposed to the Monkey Island universe being a, an alternative reality in the mind of a child. Um, and that, I mean, that, that seems to be sort of the canon explanation, <laughs> if there is one. Um, particularly with, uh, you know, keeping the sequels in mind. But if you look at these two games as just sort of like standalone games and, and don't continue the subsequent installments in the Monkey Island series, um, you could sort of interpret it as being as being an actual thing, as, as this being the real world and and all the Monkey Island stuff just being part of this game that Chucky and and uh, Guybrush are playing together. But anyways, yeah, um, Monkey Island 2. It's a very fun game. Liked it a lot. More challenging than the first one. Um, it doesn't have the insult sword fighting, which... I mean, I they probably they probably took that, that mechanic about as far as it could go um, in the previous game, but it doesn't really replace it with anything even coming close to, to that. Oh, here, there's enough. Yeah, and that last, um, little thing there does seem to suggest that it probably was a spell that LeChuck cast on him and not but you know, I, I I think um I think if you don't consider the subsequent games, it really is open to interpretation. But anyways, yeah, I liked this game a lot. It was it was longer than the first one. Um, it was definitely a bigger game than the first one in terms of just the characters and the different places you could go and um yeah, the universe of the game just felt bigger than the first one. Um. I think the first one, to me at least, does feel like a little bit of a tighter game. It, yeah, th this this one is a little bit, um, this one does at times feel a little bit rambling, and and there are some some missions that maybe feel a little bit unnecessary. Just, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of fetch, fetch quests, um, and definitely there's a lot of reliance on those sorts of mechanics in these games. Um, and, and, you know, in adventure games, generally, there tends to be a lot of fetch quests. I guess the the only real, like, just total busy work thing that I can think of in this game is when you have to go check on the stove in the weenie hut, and that wasn't even that bad. <laughs> um... It's it's interesting that they specifically reference Scum VM, so I'm not sure. Is that something that the people who adapted this talkie version just added to it, or or I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> um. <laughs> Host a weenie roast. Uh, yeah. But anyways, good game. Enjoyed it a lot. I'm not sure what I'll play next. Let me see. Let me pull up my list of games. Uh, you can keep reading the fun little captions that pop up there while I do that. Yeah, I do have a list of uh, games that I'm uh, planning on playing. I'm not sure what the next... Uh, I'm trying to to play them kind of chronologically by release date. Um, so I'm not going to just move on immediately to Monkey Island 3. I'm probably going to play the ones that came between the second and third, since there was quite a large gap between those. Kind of like I did with the um, King's Quest games. There's a nice big gap between 6 and 7, and there's a nice big gap here between 2 and 3, so I think I'm going to wait. Um... I think the game that came after this may have been Sam and Max. I think that's right. Maybe it was maybe it was Sam and Max. Maybe it was Day of the Tentacle. Um, but yeah, I guess either Sam and Max or Day of the Tentacle will be my next game because I think that's. Oh no, maybe it was. Um, it might have actually been Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Um, if it's yeah, so whichever one of those games, LucasArts game and games it is, I'm gonna play that next. Um, 
eventually I will get around to playing uh, The Dagger of Amon Ra, the sequel to the first um, Lara Bow game, Colonel's Bequest, which I played when I was doing my 80s segment. So yeah, I'm going to keep uh, keep kind of playing the major um, titles of the 90s adventure games. But the next game I play will probably be, probably be Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, since that is, I think, the next game to come out of LucasArts chronologically. Um, but if not, I will play whatever that game is. So anyways, join me tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I like how they're still running these. Uh, join me tomorrow for the Splunky Daily Challenge and for another game, probably, probably Fate of Atlantis. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I will see you, see you soon. Good night.